Star Trek Online Let's Play. Um, this time around, I'm going to be doing one of the uh, task force operations known as Jupiter. I can't even say that. But either way, the Jupiter one. And I'm going to be using one of the new ships I've got um, for free with a tier 6 um, coupon thing that they gave away for free. Um, now, I will warn you, when I do start off this um, task force operations, I may have to skip most of the dialogue due to the fact that I may not have time to... <coughs> excuse me. Due to the fact I may not have time to um, listen to it because the other players be going over to kick some butt and such like that. So obviously I, I would like to um, help them out. But yeah, I decided to, um, with the T6 coupe and get this um, support carrier. And um, I just basically armed it with the um, Coalition Disruptors and the Nuskan set, along with the Lucari um, space set as well. And followed by the Kentari uh, missile systems. Now, I will warn, this ship is still in the working progress at the moment, so I've still got a lot to do with it. But, so far, it has actually proven to be a very good ship. Especially with, um, you know, it's a ray of um, strike fighter squadrons and it's hangar support. I mean, yeah, it's a f support frigates and such. So, without further delay and without me yakking on too much, let's go and do this. If it decides to start. Now, I'm not sure how this mission is going to play out because I haven't actually played it before. And at the moment it is new, but by the time this video comes out, it will probably be not so new. It will probably be old by then, but still, you know how I work now by now. <laughs> to those of you who don't know me, then there you go. <laughs> right. Just wait for it to start. Tick tock, tick tock. Am I going to warp? Maybe if I yammer on about something and then it might let me walk. What if I sung a song? I mean, I could always sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I guess that doesn't work. Okay, I guess I'll get started. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I want... Are you going to start? <sighs> That's the problem with these PVEs, they take a while to start. <laughs> And yes, this time around I'm hanging around at Deep Space Nine. Makes a nice change. Plus I call this place my little home. Ah, oh, there we go. I knew me yakking on um, would actually get this started. Woo! What was that? scientific data from Jupiter station. It's our job to stop them. Easy enough. Engage their ships when you can, especially those that are actively trying to breach the station's computers. Easy peasy. We've been working on a new photonic defense array, but it isn't up and running yet. Once activated, it will be vulnerable to Terran interference. We can't let them take control of that system. Ah. Finally. If they open up any permanent rifts between our two universes, be sure to close them. The last thing we need is a permanent Terran beachhead at the heart of the Federation. Yeah, I'll get you on it. Well, at least that the time goes with the actual whole world um, dialogue. All ships, paddle stations. A welcoming committee. Oh, great, crazy woman. What are you talking about? No one get hurt. I'll just damage your ship. What's going on here? Is there another one? Oh, it's a Terran um, cruiser. I'll stay over here just in case. Oh! Uh. I'm picking up more ships through the rifts. Close them if you can. Activate the hollow projectors. Let's hope they get Wait, 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 what? What? We've got hostiles on the station. They're breaching our system. Don't worry, we got them, we got them, we got them. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Shit. 
Oh, it's close to rifts. Don't oh, worry. I'll get it under control. Watch this, I'll close it. Oh, fuck off. There you go, one with close. That's a nice sound to you. It's like old school classic sounds. Shit, just, the only problem with this ship is n that it's not exactly fast. Oh, Groovy, this is not good. The only trouble is... Yeah, working on that part. Why is it not coming up with me closing it? Uh. Give me a break. Oh, you have to be right close to the rifts to close them. Okay, fair enough. Whoa, that was a bit loud around my ear. I don't know if you lot heard it. Need to get those rifts under control. Relax, I've got it, Cupcake. Oh, no, I don't have it. What? How'd that happen? Oh, we get it under control. Hold on. Get away from this dirt bags. Yeah, working on it, working on it. So it's basically like the um, the Klingon one where they're above. Um, oh, what's their prison planet called? Shoot, I've forgotten it. Ah, uh, what do you call it? Can't remember the name of it now. It's gone. <laughs> But you know the one I'm talking about, the snow, the ice one. Basically the one where you freeze to death. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to put myself over at Gamma. Because I've got a funny thing that'll be next. Oh wait, somebody's already dealing with it. Get away from the station. Rural Pente, there we go. Now I remember the prison planet. I wonder if I can actually jump over there. No, I can't. My fighters can get over there. Ah, uh, breach this. They don't want to give up, do they? Give me a break, cupcake. I'm dealing with it. Luckily, the team is actually a lot stronger to deal with the Yern Terran ships. But mind you, this um, carrier that I'm using is pretty um, pretty good. Especially its um, squadrons and its um, frigate support and such. So I really do actually like the ship. I also like the style of it as well. So I'm impressed with it so far. And even the weapons I got on it is actually quite impressive. Even though it's not fully upgraded, but it still performs quite wonderfully. So I'm just making sure that this station is safe while at the same time keeping an eye on the other things. Well, I'll go over to um, Beta just to make sure that that doesn't... But it's gone a bit quiet, though. Too quiet. We've locked down the projectors. Now they're ours for good. You still hear, Grandma? Ugh. I thought our Janeway was annoying. Speaking of annoying, did you like the little back door I put in your Enterprise Come on, I'm going to rip the ship apart. You know, it's a gone for more engineer build on this one because to keep the um, ship up and running. 
Plus, I'm relying more on the fires to support it more. But yeah, I'm impressed with this ship. I don't know why I didn't get it in the first place. I'm really, um, truly impressed with this ship. It's pretty darn good, I would say. I'll definitely say, if people are thinking of getting this carrier and they're not sure, I would say definitely go for it. I mean, the fighters alone are definitely worth it. But also, on top of that, the actual ship itself can really take a pounding, especially in its lower form and such. Let me guess, you're going to go for the... Gamonix, yeah? Called it. Yeah, we got that. We're working our way over there. Well, I'll probably be late to the party. <laughs> to bet me to it, the place did. Yeah, because no, no emperor, they'll probably still try it. So how did we do? Not too bad. We actually did pretty good. I'm impressed. Very impressed. We did that pretty quick. So this mission was actually quite easy. Not so hard. Not too, you know, sluggish. Just right, you know. And I actually liked it. I really enjoyed that one. I'll definitely be playing that more often and such. Well, I've got to um, get the marks I need for this ship. Although by the time this video comes out, I'll probably have the ship already. But anyway, um, yeah. As for the carrier, I do say it is a keeper. I definitely like it. I love its design. Um, I do love um, the support frigates and the fighters that comes with it, especially the, them being squadrons. So yeah, I can't really. The only thing I will say it is rather slow, but that's suspected to be a cap for my carrier. But it is definitely a good ship, it really, and I can't see why not to get it. Really, being honest, but. Everyone has their own opinions on it. Some people may say, mm, I'll, I'll rather go for something else and such, which is fair and such. But in my opinion, I'd definitely say she's definitely a keeper. And if you ever fancy, you know, trying her out and such like that, or buying her and such, uh, she's, she's on the store, but although she may cost you about 3,000, 3, which it was 300 zenny, 3,000 zenny. Um, but however, there are ways to work your way around that, I think. But either way, yeah. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to doing more with you all. Until next time, you all, you will take it easy, and peace out.